I'm going to show you a real Saturn V rocket, show you each stage, what it did, and how it took Apollo astronauts to the moon and back safely to Earth. Can you guess where I am? You guess right? If you look up, I am under a full-scale Saturn V engine, an F1 engine. These engines are the most powerful engines that have ever been created in mankind's history. Each producing 1.5 million pounds of thrust, they can lift that much off the launch pad. And you've got five of these all around me. Each one can, produces 1.5 million pounds of thrust. So in total, we have 7.5 million pounds of thrust generated under this rocket, which lifts this huge thing. This rocket took us to the moon. Now in a moment, I will take you inside the museum and I will show you more. I will, I will show you more about the Saturn V rocket. Now, I'd just like to show you a better view of the Saturn V rocket I was just standing under. You can see it right here. And if you look all the way up, you can get a full scale, you get a full picture on how large this rocket was. Hey, I'm now inside. And then, as you can see behind me, there's a Saturn V first stage. Now, this first stage from this angle, you can see how big those F1 engines really are. They're so big. And, they, and as I told you before, they produce 1.5 million pounds of thrust each. And this stage in particular, this exact one, was fired here in Huntsville, Alabama. All five engines, it was put on a test stand, and it fired all five engines. And when and within a nine mile radius, it broke every single window in every home or building. So, in a moment, I will take you to the second stage and tell you about that. I'm now between stage one and stage two. Now, during the mission, after stage one burned out, which was 133, which was 130 seconds into the mission, the um, explosive bolts would trigger and stage one would disconnect from this ring that connected stage one and two that's not here for representation. But um, that ring, it would fire explosive bolts, the first stage would drop back, and then the ring would drop back also. And then that would expose the second stage, which is comprised of five J2 engines. So, these engines would fire and push it and push the rock, the entire stack onward just at the tip below or earth or but below orbit and then and then in a minute i will show you stage three which would push them into orbit and then it would push them onto the moon now i'm behind the saturn V third stage now this stage would separate from the second stage using this ring that's not here like the last one but after it separated the ring would fall and then this engine would ignite and push the um command module and the, and the lunar module and everything else up into orbit. It would turn off and then they go, they do two orbits and they check everything out, make sure everything's ready. And then the engine would light up again and push them out of our Earth's orbit and on a trajectory into the moon's orbit. So it would go on this distance where they would go between the Earth and the moon and then it would, and after that burn, the third stage was ejected, and then the command module and the lunar module, which I'll show you in a second, will continue on to the moon. Hey, so, now we are next to the capsule which carried the Apollo astronauts. Now, if you look over there, you can see the third stage that I told you about just a second ago. Stored inside those doors would be the lunar module, which you can see right there. So. This capsule thing in here that held the astronauts would connect it to the cylinder shape and it would come out as it, as after the burn, turn around, come in, dock with that lunar module, and then pull it out and then continue on to the moon. So now I'm beside a real Apollo capsule. This is the Apollo 16 capsule. It took off on a Saturn V, took off on a Saturn V, left Earth, traveled to the moon, carried the astronauts, it stayed in, in moon's orbit when the astronauts took the lunar module down to the surface, they brought up the rocks, the lunar rocks, 
and then they put them in the capsule and they rode this all the way back to Earth. And this is the only surviving part of this mission. And I would just like to say thank you very much for spending your time to feel this excitement with me and experience this cool place at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. Please subscribe, share our videos, and excitement about space with everyone.